Year 2040. Your next address? The moon. Under earth rise, doors slide open. Welcome home. Want inside? Homes sit under two to three meters of regolith. Sintered bricks form berms. Shields block radiation and micrometeoroids. The dust is glassy and sharp. Keep it out. Air comes from electrolysis. Water from polar ice and over 90% recycling. Polar ridges soak near continuous sun. Solar fields feed the grid. Robots brush dust from panels. Batteries and fuel cells bridge shadows. Rovers bite into powder with clamped wheels. Suports dock suits outside, trapping dust. Pressurized trams link modules, no EVA needed. Hydroponics and aeroponics grow greens under red-blue LEDs. Algae bioreactors recycle CO2, make oxygen, and add calories. Bees aren't here. Pollination uses hands or microbots. One-sixth gravity weakens bones. Crews lift daily, wear resistive straps, and train in a short-arm centrifuge. Lights mimic Earth days for sleep and mood. 3D printers fuse regolith into walls. Inflatable shells expand inside lava tubes. We tame brutal temperature swings with insulation, radiators, and smart heat storage. During solar storms, everyone moves to water-walled shelters. AI monitors everything in real time. Talking to Earth has a 1.3 second delay. You learn to pause. On the far side, radio telescopes enjoy true quiet. We map the infant universe from lunar night. Early economy, science, tourism, regolith parts, and prospecting for water and rare volatiles. Helium-3? Interesting, but not a near-term fuel. Treat it cautiously. Freight launches by mass driver. Electric rails fling cargo to orbit, cheap and often. This outpost becomes our gate to Mars. This is our